Jim and I, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jim Dawson. Welcome to Jim TV. All right, Jim and I, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks. But the best price would probably be from Patreon. Just Jim and I need to know about love. Nearly there, hang on. Bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. Let's have a look. So why is the Three of Wands here for the vibe of the reading? This is like your ships are coming in kind of thing. This is... Um, that what you've been hoping for it's like you could kind of see what's the words that I want to say it's like these are particularly for you words it's like that what you've been hoping for what you want you can almost kind of taste it now you know it's like it's believable maybe before it wasn't and now it's like yeah I yeah, I can believe it. I can believe it happening. And I feel like it's because whoever you have in your mind romantically, they kind of gave back. Whatever you put in, they gave back. Which I feel like you've not really experienced before. You've been manifesting that in though. You've been asking for that connection, that kind of relationship. Why is the magician here for what you need to know right now? This is what you've wanted. This is what you've been looking for and, and you're getting a taste of it. So you're sort of like, oh, Maybe I could have what I really want. It doesn't have to be difficult. I don't have to make difficult choices. So that's how it's been for you in the past. Lovely cup of tea. Oh, that's good. I'm drinking Pucker Tea today. The flavour revitalised. My favourite. I'm not being sponsored by it or anything. I'm just, that's my tea for the day. So good. This sort of feels like that's what you've been manifesting in. That's what you've been asking the universe for. So, like, you don't have to fight for it. You don't have to push so hard. It's just like... You meet somebody... You connect. They don't keep you guessing. Anything else you need to know right now? This is someone who's healed. I'll show you all the cards that are coming out. This is somebody who's healed. This is somebody who 
wants to work on i mean this is not who they are they're not um they've done the work they need to do this is coming with judgment so you know this is someone who's and because of this this is what you're manifesting in you're manifesting in somebody you don't have to fight somebody who's you know balanced who um wants what you want this is justice right this card here this is justice so it's like you're you're getting the relationship that you've been asking for, the relationship that you deserve, the good energy, the positive energy that you put out into the universe. That's what you're going to get back. It's, there's not going to be any difficult decisions for you to make. It's just going to be what you're looking for because you're manifesting it in. No more like unhealed, um, codependent, toxic people. You don't want any of that because you know with judgment here this is like god's listening the universe is listening whatever you believe in right it's god is just a word it's it's the it's uh how does he say it? it's like you you can't get wet with the word water it's just it's just a word so whatever you believe in you know source the universe god all the other names god's been listening and your prayers are being answered no more of that this is somebody who you can be in a team with you work together you build a brand new foundation right from the start this is not going to be a tower situation eventually because you guys built the tower in the wrong place this is a good foundation that's being built and that's what you've been manifesting in and that's what you're gonna get your ships are coming in now somebody has started to give back and if they haven't, they're about to. You're about to meet that person if you haven't already. Who's that here? Mm, somebody. Somebody. Somebody who um, is very... Um, this is not the person who's coming in. This is somebody who's very um, bossy, very uh, obsessive, um, very, well, I don't like this person. Um, this is someone who's always kept you hanging on. Um, you're always on the back foot. They are always deciding um, everything literally down to like where you sit when you go to a restaurant like were you to choose if they're like where do you want to sit and you're like oh over there they're like mm, no that one over there it's just they they want to be the boss they want to be in charge all the time it's it's tiring to be honest um you're done with this person now you're healing from this person now I think you're going to be able to let them go in there. I, if you think you've already let this person go, there has been healing that you needed to do from this. You're getting there. That's what that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, what's coming up in the near future? Karma in reverse. I think that's judgment in reverse. Yes, yeah, judgment. So we've had judgment already. Now you got judgment in reverse. It's this is like um, what goes around comes around consequences. So what you're gonna see is this person from your past that you're kind of trying to let go, or you have let go, but you are still healing from. You are gonna see. It's 
if you feel like there was never any justice, if you feel like this person got away with how they treated you, you're gonna kind of see karma come swiftly in and deal with them. What do you need to know about this? Ooh, karma's gonna hit this person hard. Oh gosh, I almost feel sorry for them. Don't wish bad on them because it's gonna hit them anyway. Um, there is gonna suddenly be some pretty dodgy, horrible rumors going around about this person. This is not you, this is them. I think they they may po probably try and turn it around on you somehow, but um, stay positive. You're untouchable. Universe is saying to me, you did nothing wrong. I mean, if you did, then karma's going to get you, but you didn't. So you're untouchable. This person, it's... It's going to hit them pretty hard. This, this is interesting. What's coming in is somebody who they respect deeply is going to take your side. And that's going to be the deciding factor. Right, what's coming up in the near future? Anything else you need to know? I feel like this is the past and I'm not really particularly interested in it as a reader. I, I feel like it might be stuff that you need to hear, but for me, I'm like, yeah, but you got this amazing stuff coming up. I don't really need to know about that. What's the goodies coming in? This is like the karma coming in for them that, you know, they deserve it. It's coming, you don't need to worry about it. What goodies are coming in in the future? In the near future? Something just came in, um, and I think it's got something to do with uh, the Four of Pentacles that's sitting here. In the near future, in this really great relationship that's coming in, There is a wound that you need to heal and it's come from the past here. Um, I think that this person perhaps did you pretty wrong. And um, because of that, it's probably made you uh, anxious in a relationship. Who are they with? What are they doing? Who are they calling? Who are they speaking to? Um, You don't need to take that into another relationship. That's something that you need to heal within yourself. So when you are in a new relationship and you see them talking to a friend or a co-worker, don't be jealous. Analyze your feelings. Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel like this? Not They're not doing anything. They're just talking. They go out with their friends. People need to have nights out with their friends. You can't just be in a relationship and that's it. So don't be possessive and say, I don't want you to go out with your friends because you're anxious of what they're going to do while they're out with their friends. That's something that's happened to you in the past. This is something that you need to deal with within yourself. Why do I feel anxious about you going out with your friends? Maybe you need to be going out with your friends and not sitting at home thinking, what are they doing? What are they doing? You know, just... Go and have a chill night. You don't need to go out and have a mental night clubbing and getting drunk or anything. But, you know, maybe in the end of the movies or something even quieter. I don't know. 
these cool things you can do. I, I recently saw a knight uh, that's at the flower shop where you can make terraniums like a group of five people go in and make terraniums and drink prosecco i was just like oh my god i hate going out <laughs> i'm not a, a person who goes out like, but that sounds amazing just like a group of people get together and making a little jar and putting stand in and plants and oh my god i love it you can find things to do that you know suit your personality it doesn't have to be a crazy night out I just feel like um, don't don't let what's going on in you affect this new relationship because of what happened in the past. Is what I'm trying to say. Don't lose what you've got now because of the past. Yeah, because that's just going to put you on a whole other cycle of bad luck and unhappiness. Because you're not going to be standing in your power. Looking in your future. Set your boundaries. So you get into a relationship, you're like, you know, I understand you gotta have you time, I gotta have me time. We do have to, you know, we can't live in each other's pockets, we've got to have separate time, but you know, call me while you're out so I, you know, feel reassured. You don't have to call me every 10 minutes, but you know, maybe call me or send me a text just saying, thinking about you, mate. Even just a little text would be nice, like while you're out, you're doing your thing, thinking about you. Hot, hot, kissy face, aubergine, eggplant. <laughs> I'm British, what can I say? I don't know, just little things like that just reassure you, right? You don't have to be like, show me where you are. But just know you're on the same page as someone that, that they're thinking about you, right? It helps you heal. You just know that they, I think someone has to prove themselves to you that they're not a dodgy character, right? You're not just going to trust anyone. If if somebody proves themselves to you that they're a good person, they're not a dodgy character, then great, right? Yeah. Setting your boundaries. Ten of Pentacles. Just means that that's that's you guys, and nothing can get to you, nothing can harm you, when you set your boundaries. You don't have to come at this relationship with an anxious, well, with anxiety. You know, you don't have to come at it with that. Just uh, set your boundaries talk about talking communicating it's important the best you can hope for yeah you're gonna feel a little bit like oh this is uh... tell me more about this four of pentacles if that's how you're gonna feel a little bit but it doesn't have to be that way
Wow, yeah. Even with a perfect relationship, and I've seen this happen recently, even with a perfect relationship with, some, with someone who's never going to cheat on you, if you keep accusing them of bad behaviour, if you keep looking at their personal, you know, emails, texts, their DMs, if you keep being nosy and prying and checking up on them and, and treating them like they're going to hurt you, then that's what you're going to get. They're going to get bored. And they're going to think that you're obsessive and they're going to get tired of it and they're going to cut you out. So release the past. Let it go and move forwards and heal those wounds inside. I get it. I totally get it. You know, my husband uh, cheated on me with hundreds of women <laughs> so not just one or two hundreds of women people I even knew and it I I have no words for how broken I was by this and I you know we broke up seven years ago and I haven't been able to have a relationship since because you know for many reasons one of them being How can I ever trust someone ever again? But that's me. That's on me. That's not on someone else. I have to let somebody prove themselves. And I'm trying. I'm dating. I just haven't met the right person yet. But, you know, I'm a, a spiritual goddess. What can I do? You know, I'm an extraordinary woman. Whoever comes into my life has to be extraordinary too, right? I think that, you know, you have to see yourself that way as well. You don't just let any old sucker in. You're extraordinary. You're amazing. So whoever comes in, and I think somebody pretty extraordinary is coming in for you, Gemini. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of are. But I would say, heal those wounds so that this can work. It does look like it's going to get easier for you. And it does look like you've got a new beginning. I can't pick the card up, hang on. It does like you're going to have a new beginning. I just realised that my nail polish is really chipped. Oh my gosh! I'm just <laughs> slap myself. How could I be such a trollop sorry everyone so you got a new beginning coming in someone who's communicative with this or someone who's like um they want you to know where you stand they want you to feel safe they're gonna put that energy in so you have to also put the energy in of okay you're proving yourself to me so i'm gonna let you Gonna start moving pretty fast. This is the outcome. I'm gonna take this into extended after I've read this. I'm gonna read this now for you, but I'm gonna take this extended. I'm gonna ask about this person who's coming in. Forget about the person from the past. We don't care about them. I'm gonna ask about this person who probably has come in, or they are. What sign are they? What's their sign? Um, kind of character they are. What are their uh? How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you with some guidance from the universe? But let's read this now. Why is the eight of wands here for the outcome? I like the eight of wands. So there's Cupid's arrows there. Let's uh, travel. Things moving fast. Communication. Why is the eight of wands here for the outcome? High boundaries. Taking your focus off the past and moving forwards. Basically, that's setting your boundaries high, you know, and not interfering with other people's boundaries as well. 
Taking your focus off the past. And this, yeah. Okay, now your comfort zone is stepping forwards. God, for Gemini, please. Meditate and contemplate. I gotta say, it's not easy to meditate every day, but if you can, do. I, sometimes you're just like, I got too much going on, I can't. Try. Even if it's a guided meditation. Even if, like, oh, you know what I found recently uh, that has been weirdly helpful is putting on some headphones, putting on some brown noise. And uh, yeah, no, it's, and I'm not joking. I know that coming from me, you'd be like, you just want me to listen to fart noises, don't you? No, brown noise is actually a thing. I'm not messing. No, I'm back. That's sorry. Now you're gonna think I'm joking. I didn't mean to pull the. Um, <laughs> am I really? No, I'm not joking. Brown noise, okay? Seriously, listen to some brown noise. If you can't meditate, just zone out, breathe, and just. Uh, let your thoughts happen. Don't try and fight them. And just give yourself a minute to uh, be. And uh, see what happens. What's your song of the day? I actually, as I started reading for you, I got Queen in my head. Who wants to live forever? I kind of feel like that's actually your song. If you've never heard that song before. Yeah, give it a chance. I'm going to take it into the extended. Thanks for joining me. See you later.